sweet home. The elevator's up ahead. Okay, so I thought they were going to have a conversation there. Uh, yeah, before we move up, I uh, just want to say, uh, again, uh, really getting into this game and uh, playing this on See, hard difficulty. What are those rot heads up to? Wait, they're planning to ambush the elevator. We've got to stop them. Let's sneak around and see if there's others. Anyway, yep, there are others. There are two others. Flashlight off, Tom. Uh, yeah, playing this on hard difficulty. So I really have to be careful. Like that last fight, you know, I can't be so careless. Uh, especially. Uh, I'm going alone. Yeah, be you. Get up here. Yeah, especially as we progress, there there will be fights that are going to be a lot more difficult up ahead. Uh, so I, I, I can't I can't afford to be just kind of haphazardly moving my way through uh, every area. Twenty-five percent edits weapon range, snazzy visor. Yeah, so there are different like uh, items, and there, there, there's uh, their outfits, uh, their uh, sets of armor, or at least pieces of body armor. Uh, and plus, uh, they'll they'll have different buffs as well. So some pretty cool stuff to pick up you know, in the world. Uh, the weapons, you know, are for the most part fairly standard in the beginning. But then uh, later on, we'll find some rather unique weapons. You know, so there's definitely a variety of weaponry in the game and. Uh, Okay, what I'm going to do is switch to ducks here. Okay, oh, back, 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 hide. Oh my god, I almost messed up right there. Okay. Very important to hide. I'm going to ambush an enemy. It's going to come casually strolling over here. Quite conveniently, right below ducks. But it's that silent crossbow you might recall. I'm the death dealing, soul stealing, stalking machine, baby. Stalker Clara note. It's a crying shame with this butter. Delta would have surely given us the discounts you mentioned. Here's the deal. Working spark machine lies to the east of the Iron Serpent with, within the scrap ruins. This was one of those devices for burning things together. Okay. Talking about a, a welder. A little bit of stuttering. That that was really bad, and when this 
game for his drops. Get your asses over here. It's better now with the update, but uh, I think they could stand to optimize it a little bit more. You know. Okay. Let's see. Stay put. Split up. Box opens. We go in the box. Box goes in the ark. We take their food. We take their guns. Mutants in the ark. Too many. Too many. Mutants are weak. We kill some fast. We kill some slow. But we kill them all. Box is coming. We kill them all. <laughs> I'm not. So the currency, basically, I started. I started talking about this earlier, and then I got cut off. Uh, uh, there's uh, scrap. There are weapon parts. It's what you use at Delta Shop to. Uh, level up your weapons and that's where you have to go if you want if you find mods I don't feel which you will you know it, the only place you can attach those mods to your weapons is at Delta shop on the arc now I'm not really sure about that I, I, I don't think I, I'm not sure I like that that whole idea. <laughs> I mean, I like the idea of, of leveling up weapons at her shop, but I mean, I guess the devs felt, you know, felt like they had to justify the shop being there. So, you know, if you want to like attach a, a, a scope to a weapon, you know, standard scope to a weapon, you have to, you have to do that back at the shop. You know, I, I think that's kind of silly. Uh, kind of pads out the experience, I think, unnecessarily. But whatever. I mean, it's it's one of the, it's a minor gripe, you know. It's not even really a gripe. Just thought I mentioned it. Uh, so with these two, I think what I want to do is go for this hunter, take my chances with the the butcher. But the problem is, I don't want to put ducks in a situation where he's gonna drop I do have three health man I'm gonna take that hunter out first which means it would take both Borman and Okay, he's already hidden. Let's see what kind of a shot I have here. <laughs> Man, if I take this shot and he misses, I will be very unhappy with that. I mean, that butcher could do some damage as well, but here's the th uh oh. oh. Okay, yeah, that's where I have run a gun. So, there we go. So, what I'm going to do is run a gun right about. I don't want to get like right in range of this butcher. I want to make that butcher have to use a couple of. 
I said, I'd be out of range. Okay, let's switch, switch, switch. Okay, what about there? What, what kind of a shot would I have with the pistol? No. I don't... Because... Uh, I'm not sure... I'm not sure which one that Butcher's going to go for first. But... You know what? I might I might just kind of force him to come for Borman, I guess. I don't know. But then again, <laughs> and again, uh, okay. How, how about if I come over here? Okay, yeah. Let's do that. That butcher does not have a, a ranged weapon. It, the butcher has a has an axe, so the butcher is going to come up and, and swing that axe at whoever he attacks. So it doesn't matter that I'm not behind. C what the fuck? Wait, 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 what, uh, hang on a second, did I, did, did I mess up, what the, okay, whew, <laughs> Don't fuck with the Ark Mutants! I'll kill you! Yeah, okay. So... So that's good. That, that actually worked out really well. Yeah, I just used Borman to take him out. Just do the... The Gaper, as it's called. Yeah! Put yeah, a gaping baby. hole in this... Butcher. There we go. Well, there's a scope. And like I said, unfortunately, I can't do anything right now with the scope. I have to wait till we get to the arc. I, I, that's, I question that decision right there. I guess I am complaining. So, flashlight, you move faster. Uh, you're moving with the flashlight on. Uh, and really not necessary to uh, go into detail about that, I guess. <laughs> Pretty self-explanatory after that. Simple to understand. Wanna, yeah. I, I do look around for all the scrap. If I know how vital it is. I don't want to miss any of it because. Like I said, even though there's basically one item I'll buy, you know, I mean, uh, aside from the rare grenade purchase, uh, and that's med kits. That's the only, you, you can pick up med kits out in the field on occasion, but not enough to sustain you to an entire playthrough. That's for damn sure. Uh, because, you know, you definitely take some damage. It looked like something over there. Uh, so, so it's definitely worth finding as much scrap as you can because uh, scrap, when you first get to the arc, scrap's 50, 
I'm sorry, med kits are 55 scrap. And, uh, but you can immediately see, because, you know, as you recall, we picked up the artifact, the uh, boom box. Uh, and uh, that is something we can actually trade at the bar, Prip's bar. Uh, uh, for uh, we can trade that in for you know a, uh, a bonus skill. There we go. Chest. Vest. Do that to. Give that to Borman for now. How are we doing in terms of going up? Yeah, let's give it health. Health boost. It's it's kind of it's kind of tough to decide, you know, because movement is also key in this game. The more you can move, the more movement points you have, the better. Yeah. So that's probably what I'll go for next. The ducks. And with Borman, probably going to grab this hog rush as soon as possible. As soon as I get five points, going to grab the hog rush. And, uh, because I'll, I'll be using that, like, real early on. There are certain enemy types that Borman can't knock out. He can't charge them. In fact, they're, they're immune to his charges. And he'll actually get, <laughs> get knocked on his ass. Uh, so, you know, <laughs> it's not going to work with, with all the enemies, but there are several enemy types that Foreman can really be of such great assistance. And he, he's important. He's, he's vital to success. And so I doubt Borman will ever get left behind in my playthroughs. It, it's just simply because of Hog Rush. He's the only mutant who has Hog Rush. And, man, do I use it. Okay, let's go up to the Ark. The Elder meets us at the elevator. He says he doesn't have a second to lose. The mission's too important. Our mission, he says, is a man. And that man is Hammond. Everyone in the Ark knows Hammond, respects him. He's our lead, gearhead going farther into the zone than anybody else, bringing back the machines that help us survive. He knows how to keep those machines running, how to fix them when they fall apart. Hammond keeps the Ark's heart beating. The Elder says three nights ago, Hammond took his team of stalkers and headed north, not telling anyone why. They haven't come back. I've never seen the Elder this shaken before. It scares me. He tells us Hammond has a remote cabin in the north that could yield some clues to his location. Me and Ducks never patrolled that far before, but the Elder says he has faith in us. He believes in us. So, this mission we accept. 
go to Hammond's cabin, search for clues, then find Hammond and bring him back alive. The fate of the Ark depends on it. Yeah, so uh, get to the Ark. There's really not much to the Ark. I mean, it, it looks nice. It's it's fairly simplistic. Um, it's colorful, <laughs> but uh, there's not a lot to it. Yeah, just what you need here. You know, there's a Ridius shop. We'll we'll go there in a bit. First first thing I'm going to do is go to the bar. Not much at the bar either. After a killer day in the zone, you know you can always come to Prips for some high quality grog. You want to get loaded? Order a shot. No butane, no bleach, only natural ingredients. I also dabble in a little uh, antiquity trading. So if you find any cool artifacts out in the wasteland, bring them to me and I might give you something in return. Comprende? I do comprende. First thing I'm going to purchase is Dealmaker. Grants a 20% discount in Iridius Shop because I'm going to purchase med kits. Med kits cost 55 scrap without the discount. But with the discount, 44 scrap. So it's just worth it. And uh, all in all, there you see we have uh, 10. 10 artifacts we'll be finding this entire game. I, I've already found them all once during the first playthrough. Uh, but definitely, uh, most of these I really care about. I want. A uh, tough guy, extend group crew bleed out time by two turns. That's huge. Uh, there and you know, I'm playing this on hard, so even on normal, I mean, the game's a challenge. This can be, uh, especially later on. Uh, you you will have mutants going down. It's it's just unavoidable. So if the longer I can extend their crew. Uh, their bleed out time uh, the better uh, and then there are uh, you know extra grenade slot that's that's great you know, grenades are you know uh, huge as well you know, like uh, later we'll get EMP grenades uh, useful against bots mechanical type enemies uh, but there's the medic which improves med kits by three health points or hit points if you prefer. but yeah that's big right there that's like probably tough guy medic and yeah those those two alone I mean those those are like key I think uh, especially for later uh, I guess really tough bosses, you know, or not bosses, but enemies, um, and the bosses, mini bosses. Uh, but yeah, so that's it. That's all you can get you at the bar. Swell time out there. And then we'll go to Iridia's shop, purchase some med kits. You know the drill. Stalkers want gear that keeps them alive. I, Iridia, provide the gear. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Man. Will I have enough? Let's see. You know what? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to need that nade. <laughs> 
Safe travels. Bye. So that's it. Iridia's shop again. All that stuff you saw in her shop. Uh, you can find out in the field. Like, you know, it's not even worth buying the weapons, you know, like the pipe gun. Because you'll find that out in the field and really won't. I, I didn't even use it. I think I used it just one time in my first playthrough just, just to try it out. Uh, just to get some use out of it, you know. Uh, but, you know, it's one I found out in the field. I didn't buy one. Uh, so, really, you know, Iridia's shops, is, it's there. It's great for med kits, purchasing red kits, and the occasional nade, like I said. That's about it. Uh, Delta's fixed pit, that's where we have to go to attach mods, weapon mods. Wanna know how this goes down? For the right price, I fix an upgrade. Yeah, 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 I got you. Right. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm just cutting right past that. It's not all that interesting, so that's why. Uh, ancient Sight, 20% added to weapon range, so I'm going to attach that to the crossbow. Very important to give range. All the silenced weapons, by the way, I can tell you, spoiler alert, there are three silenced weapons in the entire time of the game although I, I'm kind of hesitating because there's there might be another one later on I'm trying to I but I'm not sure if it's a silenced weapon or not. I don't think it is I don't think it is it's not as loud as most loud weapons I'll put it that way but uh, I don't think it's technically a silent weapon uh, but anyway uh, what I started to say is damn it I only have 28 weapon parts jeez okay well that sucks alright uh, I started to say uh, I, I do what I can to upgrade the silenced weapons because those are what I use in ambushes. Ambushes only work if you're trying to be sneaky. You gotta be silent. You know. Uh, stealthy. Uh, I, I take my time. I isolate enemies. And the only way you can do that is quietly with silent weapons. So if I can increase the silent weapons damage outputs and Range, well, by God, that's what I'll do. Anywho, what else was I doing? <laughs> Damn it, you know, I, I should have been paying attention. I think I missed some weapon parts out there. Usually by now, Bye. I can... Uh, Bye. Wow, they keep repeating themselves a lot. I gotta do something here. Anyway, my home will always be a haven to you, brave stalkers. After your journeys, pay me a visit, and I'll offer you some guidance, perhaps a story, to help you become wise and strong. <laughs> Thank you for letting this old man ramble. Go in peace, stalkers. He didn't have a lot to say then, but uh, there are times he has quite a bit to say. <laughs> quite a lot. Okay, now I'll save. <laughs>